I'm going to throw this one in there go and on. you can answer it however you want. Go on, go on. And if people are going to cuss me for asking it, then I said, but why is KSI ducking Jake Paul? <laughs> people love this, this question. I, you know? I, I got to ask it like that because it, it's, it's better. You know what? I'm going to try and answer this question in a way that I haven't, <laughs> that I haven't answered it before. I want to answer it in a way I haven't answered it before. So welcome to the Blue Tick Podcast. I'm Mikey Millian. And opposite me today, we've got Vidal Riley, a.k.a. Is It Real? Is that what it's That's called? That's it, yeah. See, at least you got it right, yeah, man. Got it right. Before we were coming, I had my phone. I was like, bro, how do I say this? You know how many, man? Yeah. Say my, my IG handle in some twisted way. I'm like, look, it's quite simple. You just can't. You no know, one's going to put under spaces. Nah. In the name, so it is. Is it real? So yeah, I did get it right. Shout out so that's like right that's now. good there, right there. So talk to me. I want to hear a little bit about yourself. What are you doing at the minute? Man, just staying ready. You know, what I mean, I ain't got another fight date right now, uh, but I assume I'll be out like hopefully end of September, beginning of October, and then get another win. But right now, I just feel like if they called me and said fight next week, I could fight You're next ready. week. Yeah, I'm ready. Who you sign to now? Uh, boxer and Sky Sports. Okay. So. It's a good long-term deal, a and chance for me to... Man, it just didn't... You imagine, I'm 21 years old. I go to Vegas on a, just on a quick trip with KSI. Yeah. Yeah. He pays for the trip. I wasn't comfortable with that at all, yeah. so I wasn't going to go. I was like, no, nah, man, if I can't afford it, I'm not going. He was like, bro, you just helped me win man. my first fight against Joe Weller. So this is what, 2018? He's like, come man, it's my treat, fly out. I thought, if I fly out, there has to be a purpose to this. I don't want to just go there. And remember, what, how old was I? I think 20, 19 or 20. So yeah. I can't do anything out there anyway. Oh, yeah, you true, have to be true, 21, 21. isn't it? Oh, shit, So yeah. I thought, I ain't going there to club. I ain't going there to gamble because I can't. And how old is KSI at this point? Is he older than you or younger? He's older than me. So he might have been 25. Okay, that so he's, can he yeah. do this thing? So everyone, everyone else on the trip could do their thing. I was literally <laughs> the only person that couldn't. So I was like, you know, I'm going to go there. And if I'm going to the boxing gym, I'm going to showcase something. Yeah. So I asked to spar people. Everyone's like, no, nah, man, you're with the YouTube lot, man. You're not serious. Da, da, da. Then I said, all right, please, man. Give me an me opportunity. Something. Let me show mm. you. And Jeff Mayweather, legend, he was like, I'll take you on the pads, isn't it? Like, let's do a little pad session. That's a big deal. That's a, it's a big deal. deal. Like, you, I literally was just in the ends and then got flew out to Vegas <laughs> on doing pads with Jeff Mayweather. So I was like, all right, cool. Then when I was on the pads with him, he said, nah, spar. So I sparred. I moved up one guy and then got offered a contract, man. So you must have, like, smashed him up good, no? Yeah, it was decent. <laughs> There's footage out there. You can go find it if you want to find it. But, um, yeah, well, I don't know. your contract there and then? Offer me a con before I left Vegas. The night before I left Vegas, I met up with who ended up being my manager, like in MGM Grand in some calf. Yeah. And he was like, "Take this contract. I'm gonna send you a contract." He said, "Have a look over it, and if you're down, we'll see you back in Vegas in September." And I just thought I can't be given an opportunity like that and not turn it down. Yeah, no, you can't. So it was good, but then the pandemic hit. And then when I made the decision, I always thought I could see my family. I'd be able to travel back and forth. I can fly them in. I thought I'd have more of that connection to home. Yeah. And then when that pandemic hit, man, I was just out there. <laughs> I just yeah. stranded out yeah, there. Yeah, no, it's true, it's true, it's true. And you couldn't fly from the UK to the US direct. So I kept finding myself flying back home to the UK, parking off somewhere for two weeks. Yeah, so quarantine. I had some quarantine and then go back. And then I thought, you know what, man? It's long, man, and I need my family, man. I need my, I need my. And you're young as well. Like, you're not old. Yeah, like, this is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm 20, young. Twenty, I'm like, you said, no? When yeah, you when I went, I was like 20, 21. But that must have been massive. It was to get bro, signed. It like, was crazy. Mayweather's, no matter if you rate him or don't rate him, he's the top dog. He's the goat. He is the and and to even fight on like the Manny Pacquiao, Adrian Broner undercard that was in MGM massive. Grand. And just to be like, yo, this is my second fight <laughs> as a professional here. and I'm fighting in MGM Grand, Las Vegas, on the strip. Crazy experience. Like, no, I'll never regret it. But I knew for me to have longevity, especially mentally, to come back home. And since it, I've been back listen, home, I've been it's, it's an experience at the end of the day. You had it. You tick, tick that off your list. It's like the YouTube boxing. Mm. You've done that. Talk, talk to us about that. People want to know about that. That's, that was a. That's, the YouTube boxing is what got me, you yeah, know, that's that what recognition. Made your name and, kind of thing. I built you up. You obviously. Know, let me ask you, let me ask you, like, how much do you know about the YouTube boxing thing? Is it something that captured you at yeah, any time? Yeah, 100%. Or, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is what 
I've never really watched all the YouTube stuff until mm. when that came out, I was like, okay, cool, this is a bit of good. But everyone hated on it first. I thought it was sick. I thought it was so good that you're bringing different eyes to boxing. But people didn't look at it like they thought, oh, these clowns. But the thing is, these men have got money. They're training mm -hmm. probably better than most professional boxers mm -hmm. out there because they've got some boxers ain't got peas. They, they haven't true. got money. They're struggling. They can't afford bro. the camps. They can't afford it all. They're struggling. And these YouTubers are out there training like the best athletes in the world. But this is where. To, to answer your question, I just like the podcast thing when we're having a convo because it's not an interview. We're just, we're just, the man <laughs> was just chopping it up, you know what I'm saying? But now it's good to hear what you thought of it because when I first got into it, bro, I didn't even know what a YouTuber was. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like the first YouTuber I trained was an Eason Gibb. Yeah, absolutely. And I've heard that. He said to me, Yo, How did you meet him though? Because I was a PT in, in okay. um, Stratford, I was okay, a PT okay. in Gymbox. So I'm 19, 19 at this point, just got my qualification maybe a month before. Some guy walks up to me. I used, I used to work retail in Nighttown, Oxford Circus. Guy walks in and he's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm like signing up PTs. Yeah. And I was like, uh, okay. He's like, gym box. I was like, mm, I never heard of this gym. Then I went and researched it. I was planning on working in the gym yeah, group yeah. or like something to start off on a silent and like then work up. <laughs> Pure gym, you know what I mean? No disrespect to the gyms, but you know there's levels to the gyms. So I thought, well, gym box is a bit high. It's a bit premium to start off. But I thought, take the risk, man. And then um, Anison Gibb was a member of yeah. that gym. He said to me, yo, my trainer, he just cut out on me. I don't know where he is. Train. Um, I train with him five days a week, but my PT's gone. <laughs> Do you want to train me? <laughs> I said, five days a week? I was thinking, that's expensive. But he was like, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I said, okay. all right. I don't know YouTube. what that means. I said, I don't know what that means. But if you can pay. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, bro. But if I was thinking, if you can pay five days a days. week, then you're making And how peas. much would you charge in an hour? So these times I was charging 50 an hour. Because the guy that so signed me up, he was like... 250 a week. Yeah, this is what I'm saying, right, bro. I'm 19. A month. I'm 19. I'm living with my mom. I'm it's like, yo, this is big crazy. Money. Yeah. Big, big money to be like, it's dropping on a PT. No, for real. That's just a, on a PT. Well, that's a Lambo finance. So I thought, hmm. <laughs> I thought, all right, cool. So this YouTube thing must have money in it, but I don't understand how it makes money or anything. I realized how much following these guys had. Long story short start training some of the others at the guys the side men and then jj decides he's gonna have a boxing match okay so i decide he's gonna have a boxing <laughs> match so because i built such a relationship with his friends he they trusted said, you yeah and they knew obviously i'm all this time i'm boxing in the background so pt was just becoming my day thing yeah, i'm still boxing i still want to be world champion like, that's my goal so then they were like no my pt is a boxer like he, he can coach you. And the thing is, you're not a Mickey Mouse boxer either. You've been doing it for... I've been like, doing it since I was six so years old, yeah. man. Yeah, I've been doing it since I was six years old. So even though I'm 19 at that time, I've already years. been banging it yeah. up for, for time. So then it, we just clicked, man. We clicked. And then I didn't think I was going to get popularity from it. I didn't... I was just hoping I got paid. Yeah. I was... <laughs> you're just thinking... I was <laughs> thinking, you know, if I get some peas, I've done well. I didn't expect yeah. people to follow me until we fought Joe Weller... And you'll follow a bit before more. he punched Joel in the face, I think I had like seven k followers. By twenty four hours later, oh, how many was you at? I think I was on like sixteen thousand or something, and that's like the first time I saw the k in it next to the number. <laughs> that's so I was like, that's wow, everyone's going it. This just is to quite, get a k. yeah. I thought, ooh, this is this is sick. So from that point, I realized okay, something's building. Yeah, but it still wasn't my focus. My focus was still to make sure You're he's watching. the best boxer. Okay, that you that he can be. Because I'm coaching him and my name's on it. Yeah, yeah. And meanwhile, I'm still going to do my thing when the time comes. So I enjoyed it. Um, but it was hard to, to balance in the beginning. Because you don't know if people are following you just because you're his coach or because they have an interest in you. There's yeah. like a time where... No, it's true. You're, you're unsure you know I mean? whether... They have, are they following me just because he's told people to follow me? Or are yeah. they following because they actually... Want to you know get, want to know me a bit. Like even in, like in your in your field in your line of work, you want people to come to Melon because the food bangs. Yeah. Not just because they saw one of your brethren's head as famous. Yeah, that's true. It's true. You know, so, but but it can start that way, and once they touch here and they eat the food, then they, they come, come back. back for the food. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of how it works with the socials. They came and they saw because KSI said, "Yeah, this is my coach." And then I saw along the way, it was like, no, people are actually invested in what I'm doing too, not just because he's involved. 
And that's when you start to enjoy the social thing because yeah, you feel like you can be yourself and you're appreciated for it, you know? So, yeah, man, it's been a journey, man. It's been a journey. There's been some historic moments. With, with the man. numbers, I've got a question because there's one part Girl. that will always... Whenever I hear your name, mm. there's one clip that I, I won't forget it. Go on, tell me which one. Was it the Shannon Briggs? Anything yeah, with Shannon that Briggs? That was Shannon Briggs one. You know what? That clip, that is... <laughs> that was the funniest. If, if, oh, oh, shit, I won't edit in this. I need to put that clip here now. Possible. And Shannon, once you've finish this event you can go back to taking your drugs and having no contest done <laughs> that was right the funniest thing i've ever watched as in youtube boxing you know what i got what like, did your numbers jump that day you i don't even moved. know Mental. bro i just know that when I, me and him was gonna fight outside the way <laughs> got like two million views it was trending bro, was mad and you don't realize as as a, as a hu as a human, when you're doing something, how many cameras are around? How many people are trying not, to you're capture? You're not from that industry. No. Whereas when KSI moves, he he's makes sure aware. Yeah, he knows everything he's doing. Even if he's gonna, I don't know anything he does, he's aware of everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. You're out there, he's just chatting shit. You, you want to scrap him, and then you yeah. look around and you're like, oh, this is it. Yo, like this you is have a bit to. Day. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's one of those things. So. I had to learn to adjust yeah. to the fact that no, you're in front of cameras. You know, you got you. You have to behave a certain way, and I didn't. I didn't care about that. And Shannon Briggs, obviously, he's a he two-time heavyweight he champion of the world. Shit. He's a big and he's a big guy. Yeah. Do you know he's, what I mean? He's not a joke. As much as he's people laugh at him from what happened, he's, he's a serious guy. He's not. He'll it's, sleep, man. Like he, yeah, <laughs> of course. Like, and, but you know what? When you're a fighter and you just feel disrespected, like. You're not gonna little bro me. You're not gonna little man me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, you're not gonna little man me. I know. Listen, I know when I fight you. There's certain people you're gonna fight. You think it's Pete. But <laughs> you're not gonna violate. <laughs> you're not gonna violate. You know, like you're like. You know what? I could get banged in my face here, but, but I'm gonna bang him yeah, up too. Yeah. He's gonna feel something too, and that's what that was my mentality because I know he was trying to sun me. Uh, so when um, you was on that stage though, mm. Shannon Briggs. I don't know if you saw him as like an idol, but from yeah. a boxing point of view, he's mm. a he's a Big yeah, boy, yeah, 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 yeah. How was that? Like, you're sitting there looking at things, yeah, cool. I rate this Listen, guy. Five minutes later, I about to, swear to <laughs> you're about that to is exactly what happened. Like, you know, some what's that saying? They say, don't meet your idols or yeah, anything yeah. like that. I'm never saying Shannon Briggs was my idol, <laughs> yeah, it's just a, a term we're using, excuse me. But I went on the stage thinking, right, I'm a coach, I'm and not I'm on, even a coach, I'm only with big boys, I'm 20 as well. years old, and uh, former heavyweight champion of the world I'm going up against in coaching this is a test I'm yeah, excited yeah. I was going to show him bare respect I was just going to be <laughs> the youngster yeah. I was going to be the youngster because that's what I was and then when I'm talking I hear man go I don't even remember what he said but he said uh, "Who? you're a nobody or something yeah, like this yeah, yeah. And then that's why I said, bruv, no one knows you. Yeah, that you've been relevant for how many years? And then I, even when I said something that small the whole crowd as well I did not expect like I'm, bro, I made much of it. Serious? I made much of it. Yeah, I but, sold about you, you, 80 t-shirts with you haven't been relevant and it's on the back <laughs> in the last five years. Like, but you did, I don't realize what I'm saying. I just thought, don't try to smoke me here. You're not going to embarrass me. You just so thought gonna, you were just chatting to someone. Yeah, chatting, someone's like chatting talking back, shit you're chatting, and you're just and saying chatting. it back. And then you realize, oh shit. Then you go online, everyone's like, oh, but that really roasted <laughs> him. He roasted him. And I'm like, right. Like, but then the whole, the whole fight <laughs> camp was you versus him. Literally, that's what it was. It, it, it turned into that. It, like, Logan, it was a side story to the main story. Yeah. Because the main story was... It was story coach was, versus coach yeah. and fighter versus fighter. And it really got to the end. At like, any point, was it in talks for you to have a fight with him? Yes, I was, it must have been. Yes, dead. it was. Um, it was definitely put to me, but it ain't worth it, man. Did you? Say, it's not worth what, it. What did you say when that got offered to you? You must have accepted. It. I know no, you would accepted. No, it. no, no, I didn't. I didn't because it came at a time when all of that really died down. Plus, I'm not an idiot. Like I'm not going to fight the former two-time heavyweight champion of the world just on old. some ego thing like i'm not gonna do that and it has it does no it benefits me in no way like i said to shannon when your name you if people type your name in Google, now. my name comes up yeah. i don't need to fight you i'm not i wasn't getting paid super bread i wasn't offered super peas i'm not gonna get anything from it it don't make no sense, man. But it was a good little hat for the time. No, it was a massive hat. Massive, yeah. massive, massive, massive hat. But tell me, now I want to ask you some questions. Oh, God. I want to ask you some questions as well. So tell me, what made you create this beautiful restaurant? What made you say, I'm going to put this together? 
Yeah, um, con. yeah so, so tell me, how you, how you put this place together? Oh, no, I've, heard. <laughs> I've been there once. You've been there once, yeah. And I saw you when you was here, and you're the only guy I've ever, ever seen in my life eat a lobster linguine with bread. I won't yeah. forget that. Bro, I went times. over to him as well. He was sitting there listen. eating a lobster pasta with bread. I walked over to him. <laughs> <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Don't I walked try. over to him. I was like, yo, bro. I was like, I went over to him. I was like, bro, who eats it with bread? Listen, he just looked if you're gonna make if you're gonna make a good seafood linguine and you're gonna have good bread, yeah, let the people eat it. Huh? They want to eat thinking, it. What? Because if what it was, is, if any of those things were tired, then I wouldn't have ate it. But it was true. It's true. It's true. But no, how, tell me how, how the linguine came about, bro. Tell me. Well, long story short, we had one in Harlow before, mm-hmm. and this come up for sale. This used to be La Sala. I'm not sure if you know okay, La Sala. No, no, you no. Been Marbella. Yes. They have the La Sala there. Okay. You must have gone there. You would have. I don't think so, you know. It might have been out of my budget. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so that was that was there. This went up for a sale. Mm. Phoned up my dad. I was like, listen, Chig Roll's a spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but to be fair, I think if I chat to my dad about it now, he regrets opening this spot. Why? Bruh, it's just... Chig Roll, not even... The, if we could open it and mm. Corona weren't here... Yeah. It would be a completely different thing. I'd be sitting here saying, bro, you know what? This was the best decision, decision okay, in the okay, world. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, the whole world's changed. The whole world has changed. Like, people don't even deep it. This is the start of like a madness. Mm. Like, people don't ain't going out no more. Mm-hmm. When did you last go to a restaurant? You're, Ooh, you're a bit different. You got that YouTube like, money. Probably, it's a bit I went different. the other day still. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit different. It's a bit different. Yeah. That, like, yeah, I've been. I've been out. But I've been to, out eating. To the normal people mm. who work a nine to five, everyone's just stashing their money away because they're thinking, okay, cool. You mentioned you opened this literally just under lockdown. Yeah, so we opened this seven days before lockdown. Wow. We so that's March it. 2020, we, we got it two years. Yeah. It took us two years to decorate. Got it. Opened seven days later lockdown. So yeah, we But you're still standing though. Yeah, no, we will still stand. And I'm not sure, I'll show you out there the works in a bit. We're opening a shisha bar. That'll be oh, open. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You by know, the that's first of December, it's going to be a rooftop shisha bar. That's an attraction, man. And we haven't announced it yet, but I might as well announce it on here. It's going to be Pan-Asian food. Okay. Out there. So we're going to have the Mediterranean downstairs and okay. then Pan-Asian upstairs. <laughs> okay. So we're bringing a little bit of like Novikov to That sounds Chigo. good though, man. Yeah, no, it's going to be something special. It's going to be good. What other questions you got for me? Uh, no, 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 that was it, that was it. I'm just going to, at the end of the day, I'm the guest. I just like to drop a few in because okay, okay. for the people that, that don't know yeah, the, no, the story, you know what I mean? And the people that just see you on socials looking like everything is great, they need to understand that you went through no, some trials. No, and no, no one's life is as good as their Insta life. That's the one motto I live by. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. I don't, life I don't post it. enough. I don't post enough. I should post more, but if I did post more, people would see too much realness. So I like, <laughs> you get cancelled. I just like, the good take. moments happen. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, guys, yeah. good moment. Let's post, let's post. But that's what social's about. You're only meant to post good moments, man. It is, but it is. Unless your, your market is down and moments. upset, you know what I mean? And we was talking about that a bit, but <laughs> a bit earlier, how that, can, how that can go left. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But no, and, and what's saying, the Blue Tick Podcast, what made you Blue think of this name? What made you think of the name? Because I was, I was like, you know what? I didn't think someone would name a podcast that, but then I thought, it makes sense. Well, I'm only going to have blue ticks on, so I've got to make sure that everyone on is a blue tick. So you're discriminating. Yeah. Dis- <laughs> 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 well, you can't say for me like that. No, I just, do you know what it is? I thought to myself, you know what? If I just have everyone on, mm. anyone on here, then there's no like exclusiveness to mm. it. Whereas when people are coming off a TV show and stuff, Eventually, the goal is to be like, okay, I need to go on the Blue Tick podcast. Of course. I finally, I got my Blue Tick. I can jump on it now. Yeah. Now you create that exclusivity. Eventually, like you've done that well surely. with the restaurant. Yeah. So as long as I can put that system in place I've done with a restaurant mm. into this, then it will work. But listen, it's a, it's, you know it as well what the game is. You just got to build consistency, mm. get there eventually. It's all consistency, man. Like I don't, anyone can blow on socials. Honestly, I think anyone can pop off on socials, but a lot of people get deterred early. And that when, it, when that, they don't do numbers, they yeah, start thinking, oh, and no. you start looking over your shoulder too much. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. You start looking over your shoulder too much because there's a loads of podcasts out there, loads. which is a reason enough that people used to say, I'm not making one, bro. Do your thing. Well, I've I'm never saying? given a shit about do competition. your thing. I'm not opening a restaurant because restaurants have been open since 1500. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, no, it's, no, no. That's what I said to you. I said to you, when you no, you just keep chipping away, keep chipping away. And and the most important thing is the snippets, man. Yeah. The snippets. We need to do a little, we might have to do a little boxing TikTok for the people. <laughs> you know, just to promote the show. Yeah, I want to do that. I it's a do big, that. big, TikTok now is the, 
It's the zone. That that is that is the main the main thing now. As long as you're booming on TikTok, everything else is working. I was, I was talking to my sister yesterday. She's not even active on socials. She, she was like, oh, I posted a couple of TikToks and I'm getting a lot of likes. You know? I'm getting <laughs> a, like, how Insta used to be. That's how TikTok is. That's how TikTok is. Insta's now. done. Insta used to be the spot. You hop on there, anyone can pop up. Insta's done. Insta's done. Finished. And now uh, Insta's been adding so much things in where it's like, oh, if you put this post and tag this, they want to tell you that it's a brand post. Yeah, then you want to, bro, it's long. So now TikTok has got the freedom back. It's got people dancing again. Doing everything. It's got having people fun. People are having fun again. again. That's what it's like, about. There. Yeah, it's taking you through <clears throat> history. There's songs that are bangers from the past. That a little snippet of that will be used again. And TikTok, you know what I mean? Do you know how many things I've learned from TikTok? Like like little tips and tricks around oh, the house and shit. Cooking. Bear shit. Anything you can think of on TikTok, there will be a quick it. 20 second yeah, 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 tutorial 100%. where you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, Make a 20 just... second tutorial for that CV Linguini. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm you know, trying to get that going in my house. Don't worry, but I'm sure once this podcast finishes, you're going to eat it. Don't hey, worry about that. Hey, come but on. we changed it. You know that? It's even better now. It's better now. No, I promise you, when you have it this time... When did I come? Say, December. You come in December. Yeah. When you have it now, you're going to go, whoa. What, are you, okay. are you getting on to everyone in the kitchen? No, just had to chat to him a bit. <laughs> <laughs> just had to chat to him and tell him, oh, you need to fix that up a bit. No, it's got muscles in it. Oh, just trust hey, me. Hey, don't, you yeah, let's, you know what? I'm going to put it on my story. Wait, when you eat it, then, then tell me about I'm it. I'm going to put it on my story. So hopefully the day this is recorded, you've hit my story because that's where the food was at. Okay, you know? this is going live tomorrow. Oh, it's going live tomorrow? This is going live tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, story, we'll, still uh, yeah we'll, be, we'll still be live up tomorrow, as long as I. So watch my story because you're <laughs> gonna see some food on there, some bread and some seafood and some other things too. Cause I'm gonna have a look at this new menu. Yeah, and no, when the Pan Asian thing opens, that's right? different. That's different. Hit up the that's way. gonna be good. Trust me. Hit up the way. Uh, I've got a question for you. Go on, go on. Little bit jumping, a little bit over to KSI now. Mm. Not to mention him too much, but yeah, no, no, that's, let's, bro, that's your guy. That's I, your, that's I your always want to say this, and I always make it clear to anyone that asks me questions about KSI, is. That was my come up. You no, cannot I, dismiss your come up. No, 100%, like, 100%. I know I've got other things going on, but I can never, someone can never ask but me a question. But that takes a humble person to say that as well. Yeah. Because most people right. can turn around and be like, no, bro, I've done it myself. Like, I trained him. I've done it. <laughs> but who, Who's here for that? No, like, at the end of the day, if someone sees Vidal Riley, the next name that's going to come to your head is KSI. 100%. But and in boxing as well, in, mm. his, in his thing... Everyone still sees you as his coach. Uh, bro, I know right now you're not his coach no more for the fight he's got. I'm Who's, glad you said this. All right, between me and you now, yeah? I'm okay, glad so you I said real talks, I do love you, but what's going on with Swarms? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. What, what, what is going on? It's what? a madness because... I had to ask. Like, when you get to a level in sport, like, especially in boxing, the decision, decisions you make on who's across from you, man, it's not really your decision. Yeah, like it, it, and there's networks and so I'm obviously I'm with Sky Sports. He's works with the Zone, and but you know similar thing where the network have a hand in what you do, and you know they know where they want you to go and who what they think will sell. So it comes down to money at the end. It does. It's it a all business. Does come down it to, is yeah. a business, and people need to. I think people feel insulted when people don't tell them the real of why things are not happening. But if you tell you know them the truth. Saying? They get upset. Then you tell the truth, you get upset. But or you're way, lying, or you're, you're making excuses. It's just like if you're gonna be upset either way, then, you then might I'm gonna give you the truth. Yeah. I might as well give you the truth because yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna be a liar. But the thing is, upset, if, K- if KSI come out and goes, Alex backed out, Swarm's jumped in, it's gonna make money. People are gonna start violating and being like, what? Why, why are you doing it just for money? No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. I do not think it's a great opponent. No, I, he's gonna not, bang him out, it, bro. The guy, he's not a boxer. He has no experience. It is clearly not the best opponent he could have which is why he said you know what What's i'm aware of this i'm having two fights okay question because i, I was wondering myself Go when trust me trust me like, like, uh, apparently no apparently swarms has been training in the background and he was always looked at as a replacement why he was chosen as the replacement in the first place I'm unsure. Okay, how many but rounds? But he, he, he's been... <laughs> how many rounds till KSI sleeps him? It's a... Well... But you know the I problem is... three rounds. If he doesn't, mm. inside three rounds, then it's, then it's a bit of an L. This is the thing. These are the pressures that he has to dismiss, but we know is true, yeah. right? If he goes in there thinking, I have to delete this guy before round three, or everyone's going to think I'm a joke. It'll make it harder It'll make him. it longer. Yeah. And this happened to me. I've experienced that. I'm going to bang this guy up and then it goes the distance. Then the guy that I go in there say, you know, what? I'm going to box, follow the game plan. 50 seconds, gone. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, 
I want him, and I, as a friend, I always say to him, don't worry about what everyone's going to say about Just swims. go in there and Go win. in there and do what you've been practicing for months because that's what you know. Don't let anything else get in there. But definitely not the best opponent. He's redeemed himself. But is he fighting a second guy? I heard he's, he's dropped out. No, he's definitely having two fights. But that guy that he was fighting... Has he, dropped out. He has dropped out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's got... Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, because he's a racist, isn't it? Yeah, bro. Do you but see, see all the tattoos? Again, do you see all the tattoos? That links back to the to network decision. Yeah. Yeah. Because personally, I would love to fight a guy that has white power tattooed on his chest and says that oh, he... He's got on yeah, he's, bro, got he's got one on his, on his head. He's and got, he's got one on what? his... Yeah. yeah, he's got white power on his head. But I would love to punch the head of no, somebody. Of course, but then when it comes down but to then a, when the it business, comes down to business, branding, they're going to say, no, no, it's not good. We can't put you on they're gonna network. Turn, yeah, they're going to turn around and say, why did you allow him on? And then exactly. it becomes a myth. Right. But I was thinking, who wouldn't want to bag up a done that's repping like that? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Legally. Yeah, legally. Legally. Yeah. You legally. Sm- in front of millions. And you, you can, can make him a meme. Whatever you want. You can make this guy a meme and everything. But again, it's business. So you, a network can't agree to have that guy on the show. But he will be fighting twice. <laughs> you know he's a mad geezer. You know what? You know, he's a, he is a marketing genius. And you know what it is? Yeah, a lot of people don't realise... He's been doing this for 11 years. Straight. Straight. Yeah. Like, everyone now wants to say, oh, okay, it's Iron Man. Blah, blah, blah. This was a 10 years, 11 years now of progress. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he built this from the ground, from his room as a teenager. And only in the last, I don't like to take too much credit, but only really since the boxing. I feel like he really transitioned out of just being banging on YouTube to his market to now becoming everyone's market. I think the boxing really helped take him out of being just a YouTuber. Tapped into a hella different audience. I'm going to throw this one in there and on. you can answer it however you want. Go on, go on. And if people are going to cuss me for asking it, then I said, but why is KSI ducking Jake Paul? <laughs> people love this, this question. I've you know. I, I got to ask it like that because it, it's, it's better. You know what? I'm going to try and answer this question in a way that I haven't, <laughs> that I haven't answered it before. I want to answer it in a way I haven't answered it before. Um, it's the art of war. It's the art of war. You do not go to war when you don't feel you're best equipped. You don't go to war when soldiers are not ready and active. At the end of the day, you've got to give yourself the best possible chance to win a war. Being inactive since 2019, while someone's been fighting consistently, yeah, yes. you've been doing number ones, you've been going on tour, you've been killing what you've chosen to dive into. But the art of war and the art of ego, two different things. The art of ego makes you say, I'll fight Jake as soon as I get back in the boxing he, ring. I believe KSI mm. will get in the ring today and fight him. He, Ego-wise, he, I don't think he's scared. Yes, that's why but, when people say the ducking thing, I'm like, ducking means like, you shook. saw my man around the corner and you bust the corner. <laughs> <laughs> The other no, way. They saw each other I on the saw street. Mercy, I said, yo. <laughs> like, that's think, when you're ducking. If they saw it, each other on the street, I reckon they'll get it cracking. They would. Yeah, 100%. They would. That's what I'm saying. It's not, it's not a ducking thing. It's back to, again, business. And also, when I fight When you, the time is right. I am going to be at my best. I don't want no excuses. No one wants to hear the guy that loses and says, well, I took a brave chance at the end of the day. I haven't, bo- I haven't boxed in two years. years. Yeah, no one's going to hear that. So eliminate that factor. Fight my man when you know you're ready. And do it so they announced it next year Wembley or did yeah, they say Wembley yeah like I wanna obviously I don't like people looking too far ahead I even said to myself I was like bro don't worry about next year Focus you, got, on the, you, fight. Got, you got two fights you got next weekend and you got two fights <laughs> not one you got two scraps you got two and fights if he, if he look we both we all know well we all want KSI to win both fights I wanna ask you a question go on so you agree to fight me yeah yeah you're getting you're getting ready you're prepping you then find out on socials, I'm fighting another Don in the same night. What does that do for your mental? What, how would you feel? You're taking out. I'm, I'm, what am I, a dickhead? Right. But now I'm coming in there to yeah. knock you out. Yeah. N- now I'm coming in there straight to knock you out. Yeah. Now, it's, now it's no longer just a, 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 a I'm coming <laughs> yeah. in to punch you up. Yeah. Whether I like you an idiot, thought yeah. you could fight me yeah, no. and schedule another Don in for an hour later. Yeah. Yeah, now, now, it's, now I'm not coming I in there to box. I feel like that's I'm how coming. Swims feels. But you know, like as much as everyone looks at KSI, K- listen, I've al- I've always followed KSI's uh, YouTube thing. Yeah. Always been like, as I was growing up, he was a YouTuber, so it's always been someone I've watched. But, but how do you? I'm 23. I'm young. 
You're younger than me. Yeah, I'm. Nah. Nah, 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 <laughs> Fake passport. Let me nah, get. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, I respect. Yeah, I respect it though. No, but def- young, definitely, yeah. If you, yeah, within that. So age. I've been following him, but mm. whole, my whole thing, mm. and uh, I've boxed as well. I've done MMA. I've boxed. Jeez. I'm not sure if you've seen it on my Insta, but I've done that. So I know it takes one punch, mm-hmm. just one punch, mm-hmm. one oh, in MMA, one kick, one elbow. One, fight's over. It's true. It's done. Done. Like, look at Usyk versus Joshua, the first fight. Before Ooh, we've got to talk about that later. Not, before not the right, Usyk no. Joshua, mm. when they both walked out there, did anyone think Usyk was winning? Like, no. is it no one really thought like, the real boxing lot knew? Mm. So my coach, I'm mm. not sure if you know him, Mark Potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's my coach. Yeah, yeah. So when he happened and I was training with him, he turned that's around. That's a and he family goes, friend, though, man. It's so a family he's going for yeah. a lot of the minute, though, man. I know, Listen. I know. That's so he turned literally. around and he goes, Mikey. He told me how that fight's ending. He goes, "This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen." And then he's gonna lose. I'm watching it back and I'm thinking, "Raw." Because he sees it from a boxer. Mm. As a fan, mm. you want to support the bigger whammer guy. Of course. And the marketing guy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? AJ has transcended the sport of but boxing. He's, I think he even feels it now that this has become too much of a picture. I'm too much of a picture, man. I need to go out there. I need to, have, I need to you fight. Know what, yeah. This is one thing I was thinking. I was thinking, why do the people hate on someone who started boxing at 18 years old? Got an Olympic gold to medal. His life, though. You yeah. remember why he started boxing as well. He this is what to I'm saying. His life. Right? He changed his life. Yeah. <clears throat> he put all his family on, all his boys on. He's a marketing face of yeah. sport. He's yeah. Not not boxing of sport. Yeah. yeah. He's done this all in what twelve years. Why do people hate on AJ? Why do people turn on AJ to support Fury when Fury wasn't doing that, and whilst AJ was carrying the flag for us? Yeah. But it's because the way. Do you know what it comes down to? Go on, go on. I want to hear it. Yeah, we're going to speak in real facts. I love AJ and I love Fury. Mm. But I think AJ is too humble. Oh, okay. I think they're making him become... You look at him and you think, but that isn't you. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, not yeah. you. You want to burn out. Yeah. You want like, to get angry. You've got yeah, someone yeah. there sticking it on you and you're going, I've got to be humble. I've got to go in there. Because you know what the thing is, you've got to look at it like this, yeah? Obviously, coming to boxing changes life. Mm. His past life essentially was on the road. Mm. Yeah. You well, know people, that he's listen, can't, he people who know Joshua, mm. people who know Joshua, know Joshua. Yeah. Mm. yeah, he's not a how you doing, guys? You're right, yeah, he is, but bro, you stick it on him, he's gonna punch you yeah, up, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, when like I'm we see him, with the uni students, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or even when you yeah. watch the press conference, him versus um, Miller, Miller, yeah, that was when, Joshua, yeah, you yeah, saw yeah, the yeah, real, yeah, yeah. and we respect bro, it, yeah, no one's right, respect it. If Joshua stayed like that till now, all right, the. Sky Sports and all them like, ain't going to be as happy with it, but he would hold a lot more weight. Yeah, I think he hit and the nail on the head, man. They wouldn't even cuss the loss. Mm. They would say, you know what, probably went out there, had a scrap and he lost. It is what it is. Whereas because he comes across so humble and so... When he loses, it's such a big deal. Whereas with Fury, well, he's just a gypsy king. Comes out as it is. He says what he, yeah. he says how he I'm feels. I'm a fat guy and I'm going to punch you up. <laughs> now, you know, and I think a lot of people just... When people watch boxing, it's... When you watch boxing, you expect us to be the toughest guys on the planet. For that time, whilst we're in the ring, you expect us to be the toughest guys on the planet. And if we show that we're fragile or we show that we can get hurt, I think it makes the public feel like, what makes you different to me? Because you took that bang out, you're rocking. I took that, if I took that yeah, bang, I'd true, be rocking. True. So well, people I think, are mad. People are mad. To yeah, think that. They're yeah, looking I at know. You and thinking, bro, look, that's how like, people look at bro, it. So many people watch a boxing match and think, I can do that. Bro, you can't bro, do it. You can't football, do that. Football's one of those things. <laughs> Everyone well. thinks they can kick ball. <laughs> you watch Sterling running, you think, bro, bro, how can I you can not run, run that fast? Like? <laughs> I was in New, I was in New Camp the other day in Barca watching like the opening game, and I was thinking, you know what, this thing don't look too hard, you know. I, I, I feel might, like I, I might could left back it. Put your left back until you get down there. You're getting moved to, but. You know what, I think um, since this is going to come out tomorrow, the fight would have happened already. I want to hear your prediction, bro. I want to hear your final right, prediction. My, so my the, final this can either age well or poorly. Fight's tonight. Fight's tonight, yeah. Fight is Ten, tonight. Is it, 10.30 tonight? Yeah. All right. What's my your prediction? prediction? And how? All right. I, I, I'm going to tell you just something before I give you my prediction one minute. So I've got a question for you. Okay, okay. Right now, you six best boxer in the world. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay. Like, my opinion is... Just because you beat someone who was meant to be the best, that don't make you the best. True. You have to beat everyone. True. Like, if uh, if you go and beat Mayweather tomorrow, mm. are you the best boxer in the world? No. You, like, you might be able to, your matchup might beat Mayweather, mm. but you might not be able to meet, beat Pacquiao. Yes, true. So everyone, just because he's beat AJ, you six now become the fucking you know what? GOAT. To, to be fair. And before... it irritates me because Joshua's 
record, like mm. as in who he's fought, mm. he hasn't ducked no one. No, no, he's no fought, one. He's fought, anyone he's fought the people that he can fight. Like honestly. Klitschko, that fight. That's the be- that's his best fight for that me. That is his hundred percent best. That fight. is that fight is. I was there. I was just going. That must have been sick, bro. The atmosphere when everyone thought he was gonna lose compared to when he triumphed at the end. Oh my days, bro. He, he went. It was pure crazy. Gladiator, bro. He did no. He dug deep. He yeah. dug into who he is, not a, a sport. He dug into who he is, and that's what got him the win. But Usyk, when people say he's the best boxer in the world, it's fair only because of what he's achieved. Before fighting AJ, he was a cruiserweight. Do you know how many amateur fights he had? Bro. <laughs> Do you know this how is, many amateur fights? This is fights what I'm saying. He won every belt. He was undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world. There's four belts that really matter. He won all of them and he won every belt in their home country. Yeah, he did, he did. Do you know what I'm saying? You gotta respect him. Then he went uh, then he said, Cool, <clears throat> I'll fight Tony Bellew because knocked him knocked him out, out in Manchester again, yeah. away from home. Then goes up to heavyweight, fights Derek Chisora, who we know is no joke. Yeah, Shout yeah. out Ward Chisora. Wins. Goes to Spurs to yeah, fight AJ. Yeah, wins. wins as well. No, this is crazy. How many fighters uh, can you say are uh, that brave to fight from home? Uh, my, my prediction tonight. Right, prediction. 10:30. Prediction. <sighs> this, is a, this is. So I've been on the fence the whole time. So I Not want. Today. Not uh, today. Uh, uh, I'll be honest, yeah. I think round five, Joshua's knocking him clean out. Round five? Yeah. You sound like Eddie Hearn. He sounds like Eddie Hearn. <laughs> no, Eddie Hearn said before every, round six, everyone, um, keeps AJ saying, him everyone keeps saying, oh, if it goes after round six, it's U6 fight, it's U6 fight, it's U6 fight. 100%. I, I agree with that. Mm. I agree with that. If it goes after round six, Joshua will get knocked out mm. in a devastating fashion as well. <sighs> but I reckon Joshua's going to come in there. First three rounds, he's going to just move about with him first. Fourth round, he's going to open up a little bit. Fifth round, he's going to come in, land an uppercut and knock him clean out. That's my prediction. If I get that right, but someone put a bet and send me some Listen, piece. that can age well. I'm not going to lie. That could age well by tomorrow. When this drop, that would be brilliant. That could be if the that title of the video. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Literally, I predicted I that. predicted the win. I need to put a little bet on that just in case, isn't it? I'm, <laughs> going, I'm going round nine Usyk. Come in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my guy. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. He's saying, But I'm going round nine Usyk. Usyk? Yeah. No, no, no. no. Um, yeah, so you're saying round nine? Round nine, Usyk. Okay, That's so my prediction. What, what happens after to Joshua? He's done, retired. See you later. You know what? The Wilder fight is still there. Yeah, but it's not the same. It's, it's not, the, not same. the same, but the f- problem is people these days get too caught up in the belts that no one cares about anyway. Like, think about it. In 30 years' time, all, it, all that will be said is that he was two-time heavyweight champion of the world. No one's going to go, and he had the WBA, and he had the WBA. No I, I, I think he, they I should th- just scrap. I think if he loses tonight, mm. he's got to turn around and say, you know what, guys, love, I've got bare M's in the bank, I'm done. You think you should... You, just should retire, no, bro. No, that's no, no, it. No. He's, he's, get, try and get the Wilder fight. But then... For, for history. If he goes in there, mm. knocks Wilder clean out, yeah? yeah? Which I think he will. Yeah. Knocks him spark out, then what happens? Who's he fight? Who does he fight next? Because we all know Fury would knock him out. But he but, still can fight him. Or lose again. No, but he can still fight. <laughs> L- lose Listen, again. When you get to that level in boxing, you're expected to lose because the opponents are as good as you. But you're still 30 M's up each time. I know, right? That is what, ma- that is what matters. <laughs> like, he's, he's, go on, go on. Go on. He's already not undefeated. There's no ultra protect. If you, if you lose four times or three times, but in that no third and fourth loss, yeah. you made 60, 75 million. Oh, Joshua's gone. Joshua, <laughs> do you think yeah, his loss to Rui is fucking mentally? You know, yeah. I believe there's a real backstory to that though. I the, the only thing the Ruiz thing, the only the only thing I don't like about that whole, you know, chronicles or whatever, is that he didn't fight him a third time. The first time he lost, cool. The second time, yeah, you won. Why did you he, just move? You know, on, I was bro? about to say the second. It time, needs to be closed. The second time he didn't win. All right, he won. He got a double. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he didn't like look. So he even said in his interview today. Uh, he didn't do the other day. If mm. I go out there today and win Usyk on points, it's not a W. Mm. So why did you take the W with Ruiz like that? He needs to knock him out. You can't just go it like in the first fight. Mm. Joshua got fucked up. <laughs> but he did like it, it, we all saw it. <laughs> no, it was the he, last he got hurt. In the, in he the got last hurt. round, it was peak. So like, thirty seconds more, I think it would have been, been done. Fight finished. would have been done. Yeah. So you can't go out there next fight and just have a little play around with him and just win on points. We know you can beat most fighters on points. Yeah, you've got the length, you've got the height, you stand, you keep your distance. Mm. You're gonna win most fights. I think if he wins on points today, it's not. A, it's it not might not capture the people to like back him like that, but 
he will it's take it. Because it's Usyk. It's like you get the W over Usyk, then you got the W over Usyk. I think you got to take reckon, it. What do you reckon about his new trainer? More aggression, more aggression, more. He's a Mexican trainer. A serious guy. You know how they fight. They plant their feet. They put combinations together. Head and body, predominantly body, which is good because that can slow Usyk down and and make him stand with AJ, which makes his, the fight easier for him. So it sounds like the right decision, but I feel like there's only so much you can change in a fighter when, once they've reached that stage of their career. Yeah. It's, and um, Josh was, hasn't been boxing long. No, he hasn't. Uh, it's, only, he uh, hasn't. We, it's been 11 years. Mm. 11 years, yeah, you said. 11 but years, 12 not, years. Yeah. It's not like... He can still learn. Yeah, of course, you can, can still, still change. You can still learn. But when you've had so much competition and won how you've won, it's hard to really just flip the switch and change into something yeah, else. It kind of got to be installed in you early. And he's only had, what, a year to do it? Yeah, it's not long. You've got to get quick, to quick know your coach. The relationship with the coach is important. Earlier we were talking about me and KSI. I think the only reason why I could get through to him is because the relationship is good, not just because of my, my knowledge. Do you know what I mean? So as much as you can have a new coach, Robert Garcia has got all these credentials, connecting with your trainer and and knowing that your trainer knows the game is two different things. And that, and that affects how much you take in. That's why my dad's my trainer. Because it's my dad, isn't it? So we don't even have to talk like that. I just know the communication. Yeah, that's like me and my dad. He just gives you the look and you know, okay, shut yeah, your mouth. That's, that's it. it. Just don't, that's don't even... It. You know how much time that look saves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The look saves time. But there's, if, there's been a couple of times where he's given me the look. I've said something and I thought, no, 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 no. Why yeah, did I say that? What is going imagine on? you have to go through that whole convo where a look just yeah. settles everything back. You know what I mean? So the communication is key. But since this is dropping tomorrow... To wrap up this Usyk thing, yeah. <laughs> and AJ, round nine Usyk. Go William Hill, Paddy Power and them things. And put no, the money I reckon down. round five Joshua. He can't round lose. five Joshua. Do you know what it is as well? And I'm not here trying to say boxing's all fixed and all that shit, mm. but there's too much money in Joshua's name for him to lose. Bro, no, that's why knockouts are beautiful. They ain't. Well, you reckon round nine? You reckon round nine? You reckon round nine he'll knock him spark out? Nah. I think Usyk's gonna, Usyk is going to... He's gonna get. He's gonna stop him. He ain't if gonna he knock knocks him out. Him out him. That is, yo, that's a big deal. Knocking he's looking. Out. He's looking like he's had time to put on. He's him. big. He's looking like a he's lump. Like a I don't know what's going on with that trim, but the shoulders. You seen his, you seen his haircut though? Yeah, you see them yeah. trims there. That, that means, means you're a mad. That man. means you're on business. <laughs> 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 you know yeah. me. I can't even lie. Yeah, I will get a trim before my fight. I'm thinking, ooh, like before my first, my first UK fight in money. I got. I was looking at my post fight interview. I looked at my trim. I was like, mm, I have to get an extra next time because I don't want to look like that in the post fight. This brother said, "Bold, yeah, one he strip." Said, don't he don't care. <laughs> that means he's Bro, looking he goes, to I'm smoke. I'm just ready. I'm mad. I, his I'm cause ready. is bigger than the belts. Yeah, people don't realize this. This guy, he's fighting for his country. Yeah, he's fighting for his country, which we know what they've been going through. Yeah, it's and he knows. And people know how sport can change your country and help a country. Hence why they're fighting in Saudi because it's good to associate positivity to a country and to have the heavyweight champion of the world be from Ukraine to him is that's a big deal do you know what <laughs> that's, that's bad a, but he went out there to go he, he went out there and said I'm, I'm ready to fight that's why the country. fight was postponed you see yeah. the picture of him standing AK'd up like, him and Loma, Lomachenko AK'd like, up yeah no, that's Carly what, Klitsch goes he's like a serious guy yeah, yeah, yeah like that's a serious thing as well yeah. like but, and honestly it's, it is good and I'm glad that Ukraine do have something at this time that's so positive to look and be hopeful for and especially when they're going through what they're going through to be able to have that moment where you, the world can stop and you can just watch someone who's repping for you yeah only, only for it. five rounds though they can enjoy that <laughs> after them five rounds that's it that, they, hey listen I hope it. you're right Game I want over. AJ to win I want him to win. I want him to win. It's good for British boxing. He's he's got. He's one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got. He's one of us, and it's good for everyone when he is doing well because it all trickles down onto everybody. But Usyk ain't gonna trickle none of that down to us. So I like Usyk. I respect him as a fighter highly. One of my favorites. But of course, I want AJ to to win. I reckon round five. That's it. Game over. That's it. He's gonna give him. I reckon uppercut. How we finish? What the right uppercut? Yeah. How we finish? uh, What's his name? Nah. uh, Pulev. Dylan White. Dylan White, yeah. yeah How yeah. we finish that, I see it going the same way. He's got one of the best uppercuts in the game. Joshua? Yes. Yeah. Hands down. When they make that computer game, stat 100 for yeah. right uppercut. 101. <laughs> no, no, I'm telling when, he, you. when he lands it, it's, 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 it's normally cutting. If, if he lands it tonight, curtains. if he does land it, 
he will drop him. I'm excited. If he, if he lands it, but let's see I'm what he's I'm excited. I'm looking to see a new Joshua tonight. I'm looking to see a new Joshua. I am about to throw him and I'm about to throw Mackie in it right now. Oh. Yeah. We was having a little discussion oh. before the camera started. We was talking about uh, <laughs> a, a, guy, a guy with the initials AT. No, I think he's the most famous man yeah. in the world right now. What do you, th- what, what do you think of AT? What, what, one minute, what do I think of him? And what do I think of him getting banned? What do you think of him getting banned? He'll come back. No, he'll come back, 100%. Mm. They can't. Get you. I think, yeah, it's just crazy uh, how many things that's happening in the world. And they just ban him. <laughs> yeah. You got that other- are actually terrible that can be posted that won't be banned, but then he gets banned. Talking about Andrew Tate. Yeah? Yeah, that's AT. AT. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I'll say about him, because you've got to be careful what you say. Of course, when of you course. You talk about Andrew Tate because... It's a sticky one. People just It's a sticky one. That's why we're going we're gonna to try and... We're going to navigate on the brinks of yeah, acceptable. What, what I'll say in a... Just like walking on eggshells here is... Yeah. 99.9% of the stuff he says is true. Yeah. And I think even women will agree with it. What's the point one percent that ain't true? The point one percent is just bullshit. He just talks a lot, just dumb shit. Yeah, yeah. But it's the way he says it. Yes. If he actually said it in a more understanding ty- kind of way, mm-hmm. he would be like a superstar right now in the sense that everyone would love him. But he just comes for people differently. It's it's, it's a different like. He just he, he just says it with no fear you know of what, being cancelled. Upsetting women is a mad thing in life. <laughs> For real, it's a mad thing. Yeah, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Look, upsetting women is the mad thing because they have such an influence on everything. On everything. Even if you're an artist and you're making a banger, if girls like your song, man, yeah, will probably yeah, like yeah, your 100, song. Yeah, 100, 100%. You if it makes I mean? a girl dancer type of way, man, yeah. they're going to like it because it's got the girls dancing like that. If there was a female version doing the of Andrew Tate doing a similar behavior saying the same thing on the reverse yeah and it was all the mandem complaining would he be sanctioned as quickly no no way I don't think so no way no way he'll they'll be that account will still be there no way I believe so I 100%. believe so everyone be gets shut up you're finally hearing what you yeah. need to hear yeah. this is what you lot need to hear that's what we be getting told but on the reverse it's the reverse and this is the world we live in so but Michael, cause, he ain't even like that in person, cause he interviewed him He's oh, on a podcast. Are you, are you interviewing him? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he took it down. No, I ain't taking it down. I can't take it down. That's, that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs> Wait till all the strikes. You get all the strikes. <laughs> Make a new channel re upload it again. <laughs> I said to him, you should crop every five minutes and just keep uploading it. You should. It. You should. Just make it. Like, just keep it going. I reckon there's more to him getting cancelled, uh, like taken down. Though. I don't think it's anything to do with misogynistic stuff. No, they're saying it's mm. to do with... I don't even want to mention it, to be fair, but they're yeah, saying it's to do not with that, that stuff with the women and all that. You right, right, right. Stuff, okay, yeah? okay, okay, okay. Really? Yeah, I think there's more to it. I think... There's always more to it. Yeah. There's always more to it. that much power control that people higher up can't control. Bro, he, is the, he mm. was, or well, still is, one of the most famous men in the world right now. How many views did him? He, did he get with Cheyenne on the... Um, 10 million. 10 million, bro. Yeah. That's serious. That's yeah. big numbers. When you hit a million, you're like, bro, I hit a million. So his one got two million. ten. He's got two million, yeah? Two million, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, even hitting a million, that's mm. everyone. Everyone, when you get a million views, you're like, yeah, okay, you're, cool, you're, you're boom, I'm here. This is like, no matter what platform. No, a million views, big number. Million. Even followers, like, yeah, a million followers, big number. Mi- it's, it's a big number. TikTok, million views, million clicks. Yeah, on, ma- on TikTok, it always matters. On TikTok, it's a lot easier to yeah, hit a million. Is. Is my Michael right there? Yeah. yeah? But yeah. it's an achievement. Yeah, of course. It's still an achievement. You're still, you're still... 10 mil. Shout out to them. <laughs> Shout out to them. I think last time I saw it, it was on like 7.6. Did I you thought, watch it all? Ooh. I didn't, you know. Okay. It's, it's one of them ones, it's, it's been on, it's ended up in the background, and I put it on again, but he's always saying I'm mad to him. Every, time always, I walk, but, every time I walk in the room, I'm like, yeah. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> he just Bro, said that. Every time I've showed someone that, I've got cussed for showing them it. Uh, like whenever I've shown a girl, oh, like, look at this. Oh, is that what you think? Is that what you watch? Is that what you watch? Like, no. oh, the other day, I was following him, yeah, mm. on Insta. Ooh. I got a DM from someone cussing me. I'm sending you this because you follow him. Da, 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 da. And I was like, He's affecting shit? the minds, you I was know. Like, bro, what, you're sending it to like four million people. Like, chill out. Like, a lot of rent free. A lot of rent free living is going, going on in people's heads, man. Andrew Tate's what, you, got you, them. Do you respect what he says? 
Some of it, yeah. Some of it, I think you, know, you could have said that better, mate. But there, there was I one, see where you're coming there from. There was one thing he says, yeah, and I'll, I'll say it here because I stand by this. Okay, okay. It's the only one I stand by, which okay. don't get me in trouble. I think. Right. So he says, if I bought a car that was bulletproof, had the best locks in the world, mm. and I parked it in a dodgy area, mm-hmm. and people were breaking into it, I'm still gonna go over and stop and breaking into my car. Right. Yeah, but that's what he says. Yeah, he says the same thing. He goes, if I trust my girl. I'm not going to still put her in a situation where I know men are going to move to her. Right. He goes, I won't let her be in it. And I agree with that because why am I going to allow my girl to go to, I don't really care if she goes to a club and stuff, but why Mm. am I going to let her go somewhere where I know certain boys are going who Mm. are going to move to her? Mm. I won't allow it. You know what? I think in that situation, she should feel that. Like if you know, you know, you got the right one when she goes, you know what? Yeah, my I'm, man's gonna be there. But she wouldn't He's even. Gonna you know, be the there. right one won't even so tell you. I'm not rolling. The right one won't even tell you. She just say, "Babe, I'm not going there. I can't be out. I'm tired tonight." Or so, yeah, that's even because better. even if she turns, I'll take around, that. Even, I'll if take she, that. Yeah, <laughs> even if she turns around to me and goes, "Oh yeah, so uh, this one's going," mm. you're trying to indirectly make me jealous. Yeah, you, you didn't need in, to say indirectly. You you're trying to, to you're trying to wind me up and make me feel like it depends. It depends on the extent of. The person going like, what? What's been? Yeah, what's yeah, happening? Yeah. What's if going on? If it's just on? a guy who I feel that response there, you see, people should take some. T- hey, li- <laughs> take that down there because he said, oh, "I'm tired. I'm not going out today." Hey, that's brilliant. Yeah, I had no idea. We saved the potential argument. Otherwise, it's gonna. Even if she goes, "Oh, <laughs> this guy's going. I'm not going." Straight away, like, why? What are you done with him? Yeah, like, and then good, all, you shouldn't ruined. feel that's ruined. That a next man's presence can affect where your missus goes you know what i'm yeah, saying you, you should you shouldn't yeah you don't want to feel like that so i with, with that analogy i hear him i hear him that, but then that, there's that stupid sense. shit he but says like he says having sex uh, he goes <laughs> it's some dumb, dumb shit he says he goes a man can have sex with a woman because it's just exercise if you're in a relationship <laughs> oh no you that 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 that's a bit see tapped. these listen that's a bit tapped. yeah you can't man, say that. that one you, you that has one. to chill out man. <laughs> <laughs> chill. Like, hey, i, I know got, there's a couple of the man hey, i'm just gonna true, i'm just true. gonna swivel my kango <laughs> and and chill i ain't even saying that yeah no, don't comment man. on that one bro nah, <laughs> you ain't getting me on that because that's the clip that will bang <laughs> so, <I ain't> <laughs> <laughs> so we, i'm gonna I'm skip over that one i'm gonna skip over that one edit it so we can get that part in and then we can get without saying yeah i agree you put it together post it up <laughs> hey, listen, please, that please. Was viral, straight, and then please. when he gets a million, I'm gonna send it. Yo, bro, I got a million. He got a million, and then I'll be like, remember, it's not that much. <laughs> no, I had you. But, no, no, but question yeah. I wanted to ask you. This was one mm. of the questions I did want to ask. Mm. With KSI getting a new trainer, yeah, did it piss you off on a serious level? Be honest. No, because I feel like I rode that train as far as I could. I can't lie. It was gonna get to a point where. If Who's I training to take, him now? He's training at... Uh, he's training at Shoot Fighters. That's it. That's he's it. training at um, Shoot Fighters. But Do you reckon you could uh, bang out all their boxers? Well, I prefer like I can bang out most boxers. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I can't... <laughs> so, I'm not going to exclude anybody. But um, when, when I found out those were his coaches, I thought, okay. Did I he come he and gonna... ask you? Because, like, are you and him, like... Is he like your... No, like we like, chat, innit? Like that's we, your boy-boy boy kind talk. of thing, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, did yeah. he come and say to you, like, bro, listen, I'm doing this fight, da 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 So did, when he changed coach, there was no fight in the works. He was actually deep into music um, when he changed coach. Cause I think that was, like, peak pandemic or, like, maybe, like, six months after it first hit or whatnot. Yeah. So, you know, we just spoke to him and then he said, yeah, like, I'm going to be training with some new guys, da, da, da. It was perfect timing because it was time for me to really kickstart into my Your pro career. career. And you cannot coach full-time and box full-time. No, no you, you can't. So I thought, you know what, this is good timing. I think the best moment in YouTube boxing history remains as KSI Logan 2. 100. When we're jumping around in the ring after. That was sick. The picture of me hugging him, like, hearing from the United Kingdom after such a close fight. That hasn't been topped yet. And to be a part of that, I thought, I ain't going to go no higher than this. And I actually decided that after that fight, I wasn't going to coach. I remember you said it. You said it. But then Gib was like, bro, help me. And then he fought, <laughs> and then he fought Jake Paul. And you know, how, we know how that went. You but know he should have won that fight. That was, what? Who, which Gib should have won that fight. Against Jake. It would have made everyone's life easier. A hundred. Definitely would have made, it would have changed. Deji should have beat Jake. There's a lot of, there's, there's those two. Oh, I'm like, you man, let that, him run I didn't even ask you about that. What about that? Deji versus Fuzi. Who's Fuzi. winning? 
You know I've got a lot of love for Deji though. Like as in I actually don't know, but I'm back in Deji, man. You, you have to in this part of that. I don't know because they're both I don't know. So I when you when you was training on both, because at one point you were training mm. Deji as well. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you stopped training because yeah. of whatever reasons, blah blah blah. But you said that he had more natural talent than KSI. Yeah, facts. You still stand by that. Yeah. And Therefore. but why just why doesn't he just put his head down and focus, man? That's sometimes how it is, isn't it? That people with the most talent don't want to do nothing, and then just people that lazy. are bang average work hella hard, and then they get hella far, and then the people with talent complain at them like they couldn't have been better. So you're in that circle. Mm. Is Deji training hard? No, he is. Now he is. You know, what? I see him in the gym the other day. Is he in shape? He's in shape. I'm not. There's no lies. He's in shape, and his energy here. When I was talking to him, he's a bit more serious. He didn't feel like a kid. Like normally you feel like, bro, man, grow up. You know what I mean? But when I was talking to him, he was like, t- we we're talking on a level. And I was thinking, bro, Dej, it looks like you're really on this thing. Like, bro, I hope he can't have a like. I'm lost listen. Spot. I'm backing him. I'm backing him. I'm always backing him. He makes it hard. He makes it hard. <laughs> it's like being a Spurs fan sometimes. You know, it can be hard, but we have our good days. We win today. Yeah. One 0 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so days like this, I'm waiting for Deji to give me a day like this. Like how I feel about Spurs right now. If he wins, that'll be <laughs> that'll be a bigger achievement than KSI winning. I think so. Because I think so. Because just like, it's just like you <laughs> and you know what? It's a lesson. If he wins, he's actually shown people about perseverance. Yeah. Especially when people are telling you, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. But you can be you can set your mind and eventually get where you want to get. He's got a hard fight though. Couldn't he's looking couldn't in shape, he just you know? pick someone fucking easier? <laughs> couldn't he pick someone I feel who like looked that is out the, of shape? I feel like he's tried that. That didn't What's work. That? He's tried people less experienced. That didn't work. I think this is the best opponent oh, for him. Fousey because Fuzzy's had proper. such a transformation, Deji smokes him. Yeah. Obviously, you know how people, people are gonna work. They're going to go, oh, and, and Fuzzy was one, yeah, and, and, and Deji yeah, smoked 100, him. 100, 100. And they both haven't won a fight. So it's just like... And it's the first, both of their pro, first professional fights. Yeah, Even someone cares. get this W, yeah, man. But that means they're undefeated. <laughs> they're going to be undefeated in professional boxing. It's <laughs> <laughs> when you look at it like that. This boxing thing is crazy. Like, it's just, as being someone who helped kickstart, like, a side angle to boxing, sometimes I sit back, I'm like, why did you do this, bro? Like, why did you help build something that's just confused, a sport that was already confused? Boys. But, it is good, and ultimately, the more positive comes from it than no, it negative. Does, it does. There's a lot, of, a lot, a lot, a lot more eyes watching YouTube boxing or watching boxing now mm. because of YouTube boxing. What do you think of, um, like all the different companies that are coming about? So obviously, you get well, the like, main ones. Like then you get, so you got like Wicked and Bad. Okay, now yeah, that's yeah. coming as well. You got uh, what's the other one? There's Happy Punch, Social, yeah, the, Kingpin, like, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was there at the show stuff, and I was I was commentating. <laughs> I was commentating. <laughs> you was there, man. You were there. <laughs> Listen, I was there. Yeah. It was, a, it was a, like literally a, a fucking mob where we were. Bro, Bro I, I, heard, see, I, I heard that that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was no that security. That was Bro. a shambles. Yo, it, 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 it was a shambles. That event was, it was a, a shambles. shambles. Oh, the guy who ran on, on who was a deadly fight. Yeah. Thing, yeah. <laughs> got on stage for, on the thing right next to me. What's got name? that guy that done that racist rap? When yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> when yeah, so yeah. Pappy, so Pappy Bro, was no even stopped it. And he started talking about Chinese food and that the guy's not even Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, right. uh, no, all the, what I think about all the other companies <laughs> that Wicked and Bad, I can't say nothing bad about because Bowser, that's my I'm guy. You're showing love to Wicked and Bad, of course. Uh, Bowser, my guy. But the other ones, but a lot of them, what's it called? Uh, Sh- Showstar, was that the one? That mm, Showstar. Just that was the day. That one just left. robbed everyone. That one didn't pop off. That one didn't pop but off. But what one done the uh, Mad Light? Just robbed everyone. Who was that? Uh, Kingpin. No, uh, what was it? The MMA one done that when they no, done the one was, MMA um, and um the Ace Family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His I one. It. Uh, what's it called? Showstar. No, no Showstar. Ah, oh, I forgot it, man. My brain's gone blank. And Gib fought on it yeah. as well. Did he yeah, get paid? Gib fought on it. Gib got paid. He did get paid. Yeah, yeah. Gib got paid. Yeah. Social gloves, social gloves, that's it. Yeah, social, social gloves. gloves. They, they just robbed just everyone. Robbed everybody <laughs> just robbed everyone and they just said, said, yo, we well, ain't getting paid, bro, but enough for participating <laughs> in it. Hopefully you picked up two more followers today. But yeah, nah. What do you think of them all coming around? Um, it's getting a bit out of hand. But, didn't you, I think, but look, KSI started one, Misfits Boxing. Yeah, but well, he's, you know, he's got professional you, I'm, I'm a little bit unhappy with you, I can't lie. 
I don't like the name. No, no, I'm unhappy with you. How no, have you come you? here and not even bought me one bottle of Prime? Because I know you got a bag oh, of them at home. I actually don't, you know. They, oh, get, they go down quick. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, they go down quick. I'll go to his yard, get two, cr- get two crates, and then T comes around. My sister <laughs> comes around. He's like, hey, let me grab two of those. Let me get two of those. And then by the time you know it, you got one in the fridge you're trying to hide behind your cheese and that. Do you know what I mean? But... Now, next time I see you, uh, I'm going to bring you a prime. You can hold me to that. You yeah, I'll just. I'm going to hold you to that. You can hold me to that. I'm going to bring you a prime. Next time I see you, I'm going to bring you a prime. I'll oh, bring so. you a prime. Well. <laughs> He's prime. sitting there like, yo, hold on. He's like, hold on a second. I will, I will. Uh, you can hold me to that one. But you, even prime, bro, with Arsenal and that, like, the Arsenal's Bro, official hydration drink is prime. They're, they're I said to him you should have chose Spurs, but I hear. <laughs> <laughs> they're <laughs> selling it at the stadium now, isn't it? Yeah. But they got there's more in the stadium. Bro, the, than bottles, in Asda. the bottles than in Asda. have the Arsenal <laughs> emblem. Yeah, like. Second. Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't, I don't like arguing over football. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, because it's not. It's just out of so far out of my control, and like it's just, and you just get stressed, and and people are, are stubborn. You can always explain why someone's better than someone and someone will find a way See, to say I don't no, follow, no. I don't, I don't follow have no football. <laughs> I'm good. I follow no football. None. It's too stressful. I just, I just don't know. Did we win? and UFC. That's it. The rest, I couldn't give a shit. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> 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 the rest, I don't That's care. That's I know is that them Arsenal men hear that. That's what <laughs> 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 uh, I'm not, I'm not into none of that. Oh, football and Europa shit. League. Football's long. Headache. So what, what is what's your favorite sport? What is your Boxing favorite sport? Or UFC, boxing and UFC. Who's your favorite boxer? From a skill wise, yeah. Or skill, skill. Oh, Canelo. 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 That's fair pick. Canelo fair pick. is his last fight. I don't know what happened there, but. <laughs> and what about? Just someone who you think you just connect to their spirit, like you rate them, like uh, you know what I mean? Joshua, I suppose, but he's just mm. got to be himself. Like, mm. there was another when he was uh, with Dominic Brazil, yeah, and they were having the face off, and he pushed him, and he was like, Bro, don't do that, don't do that. Yeah, he was on him, that yeah, day. he was like, Bro, don't I rate don't, that. That's what I like, I rate that. I prefer yeah. that, Joshua. But when you're getting this like photo boy, like, Oh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna take pictures, I get you got to do it, you got duties to do, you got to, got duties to do, you got to be that guy, but. Bro, we want we want to see the real you. We want to see the gangster, bro. Like someone says something, but what are you saying? Come, let's get it cracking now. That's what we want to see. That's what you want to see. It is what you want to see. And 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 it's fighting. At the end of the day, it's fighting. So when you're too polite, it's like they don't really go with the action of what you're gonna do. Even last fight when it was Usyk, he let him hold his belts before. No way, bro. You said no touch way. those. He said, hmm. yeah. "Yeah, I'm gonna take you." He <laughs> <laughs> said, "I could get used to these. I'm gonna take these I home." Get, you know, I want to ask you a question. This is God. completely off topic, yeah. But because I because I got a <laughs> I got a new series on my channel that I'm starting. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. Def- I'm inviting you on right now, live all, so you can't say no, yeah. But uh, we just go out to eat, maybe okay. you know somewhere like here. <laughs> and That's then why I he's just, inviting me. And on then I'll just, yes, <laughs> and then I'll just a- ask you some questions. But yeah. this is one of the questions. Okay, go ahead. What is your number one turn off on a woman? Where you just see it and you Shall go. Shall I say oh. it? Shall I tell you straight? Yeah, hairy arms. Oh, it's safe. Hairy, safe. <laughs> no, safe. I see what That's you it. did there. No, I done. see what you did no, there. It's done, it's done, it's done. He said, I hear it. I can't do it, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's done. Hey. I can't, I can't, bro. It's... I hear it, though. I actually do. Like, legs, mm. they can shave them. It's like, they can have their little... Huh? No, but I mean, as in... They can have, like, I, I can tell you actually girl, don't like it. The way no, no, boy, it, irri- it actually, <laughs> he's like, bro, it he irritates me. There's been, a, like, I'm not joking, yeah? Like, when, okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, when I'm there's going. been a girl and stuff, looked at her, I thought, mm, okay. Mm. Oh, no way. No way. No, no, what did you do that for? No, do you know? I just forget, but you can't. It doesn't matter here. It doesn't yeah. matter here. They allowed here. I'm, I'm here to make money, bro. Business. That's, that's it. it. Keep that's the customers it. happy. If they want hairy arms, they can have hairy arms. No problem. I think for me, no, it might be dead crap. No, I don't care about that, bro. I don't I care. care about dress sense. I no, don't no, care no, about. I care. Bro, I love a girl in a tracksuit. I can't lie. I love right, a girl. Cool. So if they're wearing the feel of dinosaurs, you're gonna just act like they ain't wearing the feel of dinosaurs. As long as her arms are nice and smooth. And, or if Oof. she's wearing the Shoreditch Air Forces. Bro, look, of course, crepes. All right, so what? You don't mind about like hairy arms and shit like that? No, that like, stuff like that, innit? Quick, get the one, the v- one, the thing. little V-stitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm your Venus, no, 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 that no. thing, yeah? I mean, they can use that. But the no. crepe, that means that in your mm. mind, this is your taste. Physically, yeah, you grew some hair, but in your mind, you thought the feel of dinosaurs was gonna. Do you know allow another big put off for me? A massive put off. 
massive. Obviously, I see girls in heels a lot, yeah? Mm-hmm. If their toes ain't done, get out oh, of you here. You sound like one of my guys. No, no, get out of here. <laughs> get you out sound out like one of my guys. No, get out Get out of here. <laughs> this is Bro, a big issue. you know issue. what it is with me? You've got to have... You know what it is? No, man, that's... I dust. feel like... Yeah. In my mind, yeah, I put it as a default, yeah? So if it's not right, then obviously it's just... But I don't compliment it. Yeah? I just think default, they have to be this But you know what I don't get? Like, let's say you I'm going I mean? out with you a... don't gain extra points for If it. I'm going out with a girl, yeah? Mm. Bearing in mind, like, if let's say I'm going on a date. Mm. And first time linking her, for example. How are you not g- sorting yourself out? Yeah. Like, That's what I think. That means you're not putting in effort. Yeah. Because true. me, if I'm taking you out, I'm going to get a trim. I'm making sure I look good. Mm. So you've got to do them little things. Sometimes you got to put them to the test though, man. Sometimes you got to link up with them with no trim, man. See if they really feel the way. Do you know what I mean? Because if you like me with no trim, next week when I come back, well, I can't like, we're I've in business. always got a trim. <laughs> <laughs> I've always no, no, got, I a, trim. Got, a, trim. got a trim. I can tell you ain't got a trim. I've always got a trim. I can tell you. If always, you didn't have a trim, always. your friends would be like, you're right, bro. Like, <laughs> everything okay, bro. Boys be funny about, bro, you're right, you're depressed. What's good, bro? Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not on the trims to you, Yeah, I have to. Yeah, no, we got barbershops, innit? Oh. Yeah, so you got those two. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Let's <laughs> oh, you starting, oh, what, a shisha, you're starting a shisha lounge upstairs. Yeah, out there. In December. Yeah. A one pan Asian food. See, I listen. A one pan Asian food. <laughs> He's gonna be funny about yo, bro. So, so you know that, that, that little f- new series I started. But we don't want in Melon, can we yeah, do one in the Pan Asian yeah, as well? It's a bit of a different is it going have a different name or yeah, it's called oh, yeah, Are you gonna like, reveal it? Nah, my dad might shout at me, allow it. I'll right, reveal cool. it another day. I hear it. All right, if yeah, Sky Asia. Okay. Yeah, Sky Asia. Okay. But it's gonna be rooftop, like rooftop. Mm. You see, like the view. So Sky Asia, coming soon. Decent, local. I will be popping in. Yeah, no, it's gonna be good. I will it's be, be proper. In. So what yours is crepes on women? Yeah, man. You know what it is because I I like I care in it. But that you can change. That's just Bob. You can just go shop, buy her no, a pair of crepes and bro, give it to her. So there I'm you go. Saying, if she had the audacity to walk out in the Shoreditch Air Forces, <laughs> if I buy her fresh ones. It's like, why'd you do that for? You're not going to rate the, the, the fresh ones. If she, bought, if she buys Feel the Dinosaurs, that means her eyes saw that on her ones. <laughs> and, she, and she said, and she said I, I look fire in these. That means if I say, here's some J4s, you might be like, mm, don't know, man, I really, I really like them feelers. I can't deal with that. Sounds petty, but everyone's petty, man. And you also got to just throw it in the mix as well. What's your turn off? Hey, ah, well, he, he agrees with everything I said. Like, wait, he's on my <laughs> wavelength. He agrees, he agrees. He's, he's on my wavelength. You ain't got no turn off. You're like, anything yeah, we'll like, do right now. That's it. Anything we'll do. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, we'll do uh, right now. Uh, fair play. Fair play. Easy man to please. That's good. That means you, you got options. Yeah, I'm fussy. I'm f- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Per- look, no, no, listen. No, no, we're talking about superficial. We're not going like, to hear your deep side. Just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about I superficial. I want to know about. She got fucked up here, then, no. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah. Hair. yeah. Do you know one thing that happened to me the other day? Well, I'm just, it sounds like I'm just drawing out girls, man. No, this is not good, but fuck it. <laughs> so, there was a customer walked past me in a restaurant. Mm. A girl, yeah? She had her hair done. Like, she looked nice, yeah? Like, nothing. She didn't look mm-hmm. like. I'm not saying she was 10 10, not saying she was dead, but her hair stunk of hair straighteners. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. You know where, like, yeah, they yeah, burn like their that, hair? Man. Yeah, and I smelt it, and I was like, yo, what the hey, fuck? I'm gonna stop Mikey right here, I'm gonna cut him just so because <laughs> I feel like he's gonna get into this. No, 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 and then I'm just gonna get cancelled. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna save you right here. Remember, <laughs> Sky Asia coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Save this before, before, bring that before the YouTube in. career starts, I got cancelled real quick. Listen, it's, it's early stages. If you're gonna get cancelled, this is the best time. <laughs> but if you can prevent it, if you can prevent it, then for sure, man. Prevent yeah. oh, What about? Um, I want to ask you this one as well because I recently travelled. What's the best country you've been to? Dubai. Yeah. No, no, no. You know what? No. Nah. No, nah, it weren't to be fair. I went to Jamaica, and that was better. Jamaica. What made it better? Dubai is good in the sense as. It's a lifestyle. Mm. You go out there. Service is 12 out of 10. Anyway. In Jamaica, the service is so slow because every brother is high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is so slow. But Dubai service, when you go mm. on a... Not with a man them trying to party. If you go out there like with your girl and you want good service, 
you're good in Dubai. No one's okay. gonna look at your girl funny in Dubai. Mm-hmm. No one's gonna try and move to her. There ain't you ain't gonna have a scrap out there. No one's gonna rob your kettle. Everyone's like, on every, everyone's just best yeah, behavior. Best behavior. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> them man don't care, bro. It's a little bit different. They're, they're just out there thinking, yeah, fuck this. Yeah, right. But I went to Jamaica mm. and I had a sick time. Bro, do you know what it was? That was a pure luxury chill holiday. Mm. Like going out and partying with the boys or even, even if you go to Dubai, you can't just chill like that. Whereas... There's a lot going on. When I went to Jamaica, bro, it was everything How was long did you go for? Nine nights. Okay. I stayed in Montego Bay and the Come it on. was just banging, 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 banging. See, don't listen. get it twisted. And you know I ain't been though. I'm embarrassed. You've I never been? been? No, bro. you got to go. I like, you know I don't care. Okay, I'm not embarrassed because I'm going to go. I can go if I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll go there. But when I go there, I want to do it properly. Bro, I went to the uh, so Don River Falls as well. Okay. Bro, that was sick. See, I don't don't rub it in my face too much, innit? Like, yeah, yeah. 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 You've you done it as well, yeah? You done it as well? <laughs> ten, ten, no? Yeah. Where did you stay? Okay. See, that's a bit too much hood for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's no, a, it's a no, bit too much. Yeah, that's a bit. <laughs> no, I'm going to go. And when I go, I'm going to make sure I live it up properly. Like, I don't want to have no limitations. I don't want to feel like, oh, bro, ooh, I just want to go. So when I go home, I'm going to go home properly. Right. You gotta enjoy it out there. Yeah. Got you? What about you? I've got to ask you the same question. Ooh. But you must have had a few holidays with with a squad as well. So Yeah, put- like I've had a you know what? Most of the countries I've been to, I went for boxing and when I was a, when I was an amateur. Yeah, yeah. Like just travelling around Team England, Team GB, like so you're not really there taking it. But that's in the different. Country. I'm talking about yeah. in the last five years, but your in life's the last changed. Uh, Miami. It has to be Miami. Really? Yeah, Miami. Well, we, I made a whole YouTube channel just based off <laughs> like, that experience. The, the, the YouTube channel colors are themed Miami colors because of that trip. Oh, so I swear. If we're talking about a, a holiday where, yeah, did you live to the fullest? Miami was the Miami one. Miami 2019. So why haven't you been back? <sighs> this because important th- things are happening, man. The fighting is happening. You Wait, know what you, I mean? You got a fight line? No, you ain't. You said it at the start. I ain't got a fight lined up right now, but I'm just here and I'm ready. Do you know what I mean? I'm here and I'm ready. When it's holiday season, we'll, we'll do holiday season. But right now, it's like, okay, when I get that date, let's focus on the next victim. <laughs> next victim, and, you know. And move. Well, it ain't going to be me. So yeah, 100. I have to talk about them that way. But yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's yeah, exciting. No. Miami is definitely my top I'm, holiday. I'm, I'm due a holiday. I can't lie. We've got to go back. We've got to go back. Yeah, we've got, yeah, look, he was on the trip he's, too. He's going to go home. Shout out Miami Cheeky. now. Shout out to T-Bone from Rolling Cheeky. He's here in the building right now. You can't <laughs> see him, but he's here. But yeah, that's the side channel. So you have to go and check the side channel for some entertainment in abundance on Rolling Cheeky. But listen, this has been the Blue Tick Podcast. I've been your special guest, Vidal Riley. It's been hosted by Mikey Mellon here at Mellon Chigwell. I'm about to go and get a snack. Talking about that carbonara and bread. We're about to definitely get that in. Follow my socials. Is it real? Follow Mikey on his socials. They should be on the screen if the editor is doing their job properly. And you should definitely be in the description. Like and subscribe. New channel. And it's only going to get better. Blue ticks only. We out.